This playthrough is rated T for Teen. Greetings and salutation, viewers. Voldemort back here with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. In the last episode, well, we went to go see the Eldars and see if they're as if bad or whatever the, by the one said. But uh, no, they're not. They wish to keep the Star Forge. Either they want to destroy it or to keep it a secret and they guard the temple. So we decided to hear their plea and decide to see if we can talk to the one to see if we can just, you know, make it all work out. You know, the one you get your your empire and the and the one and the Eldar's get to make sure that the, oh I see how the good can never work. Okay, let's talk to the keeper Osros since uh, in the last episode we learned a lot about this new other Rakatan tribe and a lot about the history of the Rakatan. But we got to learn more history, more history. I'm a history buff at, at heart, folks. Let's learn more from Ostra and see if we can get a few more extra little tidbits about. <laughs> Greetings once again, Reverend. I am glad that you have returned. I couldn't believe that you betrayed us, despite what the Council said. I'm sorry, I don't remember you. My name is Osra. I am the keeper of the history for the Eldars. The last time you were here, you had many questions for me. The Council told us all of the destruction of your memories, but still I had hoped you might recall something from the past discussion. I wish I could remember, but I don't. Sorry. There is no need to apologize. It just pains me to know that all you had learned from me had been forgotten. Still, I'd be happy to instruct you again. Actually, I do have a few questions for you. Yes, of course. Although you must forgive me if some of this starts to seem familiar. After all, we did go into the history of the Rakata at some length the last time you were here. I will do my best to enlighten you with the knowledge I, I hold. What subject do you wish to learn? Tell me, uh, tell me about everything. The whole world, Bioware... You know, Star Wars in general, just everything. Uh, tell me about the beginning of the Rakatan Empire, or Rakata Empire. Long ago, we Rakata were a great space people. Our ships combined technology and the power of the Force. We were able to pilot them to the galaxies, farthest reaches of the galaxy. Everywhere we went, we found civilization less advanced and weaker than our own. But instead of helping them advance, we conquered and enslaved them. Back then, we could still command the Force. That, combined with our advanced technology, made our match of conquest irresistible. Soon, the Infinite Empire stretched across the entire galaxy. Over time, we lost our ability to use the Force. Some believe we had used the Force for so long that we evolved biologically and became immune to its effects. In any case, we, once we lost our sensitivity to the Force, our Empire began to fracture. We had to revert to more conventional space travel using inferior technology. Our ultimate collapse was inevitable. How did the Rakatan Empire collapse exactly? Long ago, the Rakatan ruled all the known galaxy. All the species bowed before us. We were a corrupt people, and in our fall from glory, there are terrible lessons that must be learned. The Infinite Empire was built on slaughter. It was inevitable. It should collapse upon itself. Plague, or plague, slave, rebellion forced us to retreat back here to our hidden homeworld. Uh, here, conflict among power-hungry warlords escalated into full civil war. Terrible weapons of mass destruction were unleashed, driving most of the Rakata far beneath the earth for shelter. The devastation ravaged the world. Our people were scattered, our cities leveled, our very existence all but erased. The glory of the infinite empire is nothing but dust and bones. In the past few thousand years, small bands of Rakatan have begun to return to the surface, but they are primitive and superstitious creatures. Only we elders, elders remember anything of the true past. The true history of the Rakatan. Hey, don't go cheering over there, Rakatan, watching the background. We know you love your history, but go away. This is my story. Do you know how to disable the destructor field that caused my ship to crash? Yeah, you go away, Rakatan onlooker. The structure field is one of the ancient defenses of the Starforge. A great generator within the temple of the ancients fuels it. You'll have to enter the temple to disable it. Oh, I see. Well, let's ask you something else. I'll do my best to enlighten you. Alright, uh, tell me about the tribe of elders. We elders are descendants of the holy priests cast of the infinite empire, survivors of the terrible weapons unleashed by the warlords during the final collapse of the empire. Inside the temple of the ancients, our ancestors were safe from the devastation that forced the other or cotton to flee underground. We emerged from the temple to find an ancient and ruined land. At last, we understood the terrible power of our own technology. To ensure it can never be unleashed upon us again, we sealed the ancient knowledge within the temple. Well, I guess it makes sense to seal it from a point when you know that there's no force sense of Rakata, and you at least know that no other Rakata will unleash it again. But that doesn't mean about other races. You forgot about uh, you forgot about humanity. Who seems to cause the most trouble? Anyway, 
Oh, I love the response here. After all this, you can go, thanks for the information. I guess I can kill you now. I, who thinks about just... That sounds like something I would do as a joke, you know, but you have the Bioware writers threw it in there. But anyway, I'm going to ask you something else. Uh, let's see. Um... Uh, do you know what, what do you know about the other Rakat tribes? Although I've only met one other. Uh, many centuries ago, the other Rakat banded and emerged from the underground wards, but they had sought shelter from the devastation of the warlords. But these Rakat were as violent as the warlords. They had fled many millennia ago. After centuries of battle and bloodshed, the tribe of the One has emerged as the strongest of them all. Now the One, lured by half-remembered legends of his people, lusts to possess the terrible power locked inside the temple. We can never allow that to happen. Have you tried reasoning with the one? When the one first arrived on the island, we sent emissaries under a flag of truce to try and negotiate with his tribe, but all our envoys were brutally slaughtered. We do have the technology to destroy the one and his followers, but we, if we kill them all, we will only prove that we have learned nothing over the past 20,000 years. The one is mad with power. We choose not to fight him, so we can only course actions to stay in isolation where we are safe, just as we have done for the past 20,000 years. I think that's a repeat of what the Elder said to me, actually, now that I think about it. Okay, well, thanks for that, I guess. I so let alert that again. Ooh, excuse me. Ugh. Turn night outside while I'm recording this. Uh, okay, what do you know about the Temple of the Ancients? The temple is a sacred place of terrible secrets. All the dark mysteries of the Rakata are housed within its stone walls, which pulse with the living power of the Ancients. Only those who can command the power, what you call the Force, can enter the temple. Many centuries ago, there were still a few among us who could pass within its walls. But, living in the shadow of the temple, we became desensitized to this power. As you yourself said the last time we were here, we Eldars are no longer Force-sensitive. It's like getting a disease, almost. Can any of the Rakatan enter the temple? None of the Rakatan can control the Force now, but long ago, there were those who could pass through the barrier. Our ancestors created the energy shield around the building as a second line of defense, but the energy shield was created using technology within the temple itself. Once we helped you Malik to get past the barrier, you discovered a way to lower the shield at will from within the temple itself. After this, you had no further need of us. The once hollowed ground of the temple is now overrun with the followers of Malik who command the force, those you call the Dark Jedi. Wait, they're already in there? Why don't you just give us the power so we can get there and defeat them? Oh, wait, because they don't trust us. Okay, you make a point. Let me ask you something else. I think there's one more question we can ask him. Uh, what do you know about the Star... Can you tell me about the Star Forge? Much of our knowledge of the Star Forge is lost. It was built during the height of the Infinite Empire, long ago. All we know now is that it casts a terrible shadow across our world. We elders have longed to destroy the Star Forge for many generations to cleanse ourselves of its evil's presence. But we have neither the knowledge nor the capacity. When you and Malak last came here, we saw you could uh, save yours. We let you into the temple so you could destroy the Star Forge. Instead, you harnessed its dark power for yourself. You awakened a dormant evil. Your fleet helped spread the corruption of the Star Forge throughout the galaxy. And now you return as our last hope to stop what you once started. Yeah, funny. Uh, iron uh, is that ironic? Or is that just funny? Well, either way, it's interesting. All right, I have to go now. I'm too stupid to talk to you. Yes, of course. You have much to do, with little enough time to do it. But if you ever have any questions for me, I'll be happy to try and answer them. All right, we get experience, actually, for listening to his tale. I, I think it's like 500 or something. But anyway. All right. Time to go take out the one and save those scouts. I mean, we don't want to take out the one, but the fact is he's probably not going to listen to us. So let's load up later on. So save us some time instead of me just running back and forth. Yeah, when I actually do some playing ahead of time, I'm actually prepared so I can actually, like, squeeze out uh, or save a few moment, a minute so I can uh, get to the ending quicker. Not that I don't mind dragging this out a bit. It's just, you know, this this uh, playthrough has run for quite a while. And we're at, I think this is episode 91 at the time. So, yeah, I've been playing this a little bit longer than I probably should have. It probably should have ended a while back, but I uh, spent too much time on side quests and stuff like that. And I don't know, I've, been, I've enjoyed the... the re-go through for recording purposes instead of just playing for fun. But anyway, yep. We have seen you, Interlumpa. You have servants of the Eldars. By order of the one, you must die. Didn't we have a deal? Well, either way, it's it's fight time against the Rakatan Warriors. So basically, uh, like before with anything, you basically want to do buffs and um, uh, uh, 
Uh, what's that? Crowd controlling. Okay. Uh, let's see. Wait till any Eldar get closer, but for now we'll stun. Maybe do a for couple force lightnings. Uh, I don't know, HK, why don't you... Uh, why don't we try using some of these bombs we've got? Uh, maybe use a couple of frag... Uh, like a frag or two. I do. Might as well use them. I mean, I guess I could sell them, but... Uh, eh. Alright, we should be good. Force wave, excellent, obviously. Okay. Pause it again. Come on. Pause it. Thank you. Jiminy. I was like, pause, pause. Okay. Yeah, well, either way. Actually, we're probably pretty good. We did most of the damage we could. Too bad Julie goes straight for the uh, um, uh, charge every time he. Uh, okay, we're good. Yeah, see, Force Wave is awesome. I'm sorry, people. I don't know why you would think otherwise, or wouldn't think otherwise. Actually, it's not like people like just dis, uh, like dis Force Wave or stuff like that. It's just like when I when people first played this game, they thought a lot of those abilities are are weak or, or, or wasteful. You know, you know, people unless it's a uh, unless it's like Force Lightning, that's not cool or useful. Anyway, because of oh, okay, here he comes. <coughs> we were just waiting for him to charge at us. We were just trying to heal up, man. Yes. Ha uh ha. -huh. Anyway. Man, crowd control in this game is so good. It will, we'll need this for the final. And for Stun. I'm glad I learned that, too. That helped us with those who are strong against my Force Wave. I think we already killed that Warlord, dude. Or either that or he disappears when you become enemies of the, uh, uh, the one. Because he's no longer here. And I didn't see his body. So I guess we don't actually fight him. But yeah, that was... That only took like a few seconds. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I am at max level though, I said, so I can't really, you know, like I can't really say, oh, it's pure strategy. It's like, well, maybe. I mean, I did have the abilities that helped with that, but uh, you know, it would definitely play. The fight would definitely be played a bit differently if I didn't have Jolie. If I had like my more melee dudes, it probably wouldn't have as good crowd control because my force wave is only as good as my stats are in force abilities, which is uh, average at best. Jolie has a higher DC, so more likely people are going to fail their saves against him. Oh, by the way, probably should save before you go in here because we're going to get attacked by more stuff because we basically have to kill everyone in here to, to get to the one. Well, not everyone. We can kind of ignore a few people, but for the most part, we're basically mass slaughtering everyone. I should probably just need one, and then we can just melee them. Da, 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 da. Ah, that'll probably force lightning will work. Because one force wave yes. will basically take him out of the picture. Right yeah, sorry that sorry the game's kind of slowing up a bit. It's yeah, if you're playing the PC one, then it'd be very smooth. But on the Xbox version, it it slows down with a lot of people attacking combat. That's probably one of the major problems I have with the console version. Obviously, playing on the PC version, or you've modded it to make sure it runs smoothly, then you have no issue. But Might be able to just hurry up. Yeah, I probably could just let every, because now that we're fought, uh, uh, fighting single people, we can kind of just lead the AI to run itself. For the most part. Yeah, sorry for making like smack my lips. I or not lips with like my the inside of my mouth. I do that every once in a while when I, uh, when I get sick, like when I get cold and stuff like that. I think it has to do with like. Uh, uh, possible inner ear infection or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, don't want to hear me talk about that. Want to hear me take out more cotton, more cotton uh, villains. This is what you get for trying to make a ricotta great again. No, I can't believe I said that. At this, at this time, at, at the time of this recording, that is, uh, there's just something about that, you know. Anyway. Yeah, we're basically fight. We're basically. Gosh, really? Should I say stuff like that? That kind of ruins the the uh, the the. At all. We're basically fighting a ricotta Donald Trump. A ricotta Donald Trump. Yes, I said it, folks. I said it. I don't. And I and I and I. I'll. I would say it again. Anyway, let's uh, keep going through. Oh yeah, we've already grabbed. Actually, aren't there a couple of? No, they they said we could take any we wanted. Okay, never mind. 
I was trying to remember. I think that was the sand people place where I hadn't grabbed all their items. Oh, yeah. I never did give them that crate pearl. Oh, well. Actually, I think there's supposed to be like a, uh, a Jedi crystal on this island that you can get that's actually pretty good, if I remember correctly. Like, in the temple, if I remember. But anyway, now let's get rid of this dude. Crowd controlling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a lot of, you know, uh, you know what you think about it. Not a lot of RPGs do a very good job of crowd control or give you the options for that. At least not a, not a lot of uh, older games anyway. Newer games are a bit better at that now because they, they see that as a possible, a possible interesting tactic that people might like to do. You know, to either playing on harder difficulties or making the normal version of the game easier. Uh, okay, we already grabbed all that. I, I could swear I grabbed everything when I was here last before, but... Uh, actually, there... Uh, let's see, what was... What was that one game that was pretty decent at that? Uh, well, I don't know if I'd say decent, but the Persona series, 3 and 4, if I remember correctly, were pretty good about setting up, trying to set up, like, ways to... Well, I don't know. There, there was a... Status ailments were kind of hard to hit sometimes, but there was basically that game was very important on the idea of knowing your enemy and crowd controlling them. Otherwise, you get just absolutely wrecked. Not so much in the fourth game, but the third one, uh, for sure, because of how it worked. But anyway, let's uh, go find the one. Hey, I defeated all your dudes in like six seconds. How do you feel about the them apples? You don't like it? Well, too bad. You're not. You can't. You can't make a, a country great again when all when you're not united. You can't be fighting each other. You see where I'm going with us on that? You can't be fighting each other. Despite you having a stupid leader. I said it. I said it. About the Rakan leader, not about anyone else that resembles uh, uh, someone like that living or dead. Because, right, this is a work of fiction. Right? The, co uh, the coincidence of being related to anyone living or dead is purely coincidental, so you can't sue us. Nanny, nanny, nanny. Nanny, nanny, boo boo, stick your hand, doo doo. Look, I have something to talk about because really there's no challenge. <laughs> I mean, I could technically raise the difficulty to, to uh, uh, hard mode, but I kind of don't want to. Uh, <laughs> I, pr I really did think about playing this game just all the way straight forward from hard mode, but uh, I don't know, something... I don't mind playing games on their harder difficulties, like games I really like, but... Sometimes it can almost get, like, playing a game on hard mode can almost make a game frustrating, and you can kind of almost lose the fun of the game if you do that. I don't know. That's probably why I play a lot of games either on easy or normal mode. Like, very rarely do I play a game on hard mode. The only time I really do that is a game I've played, like, a ton of times, and then I go, you know what? I want to play this game on hard mode once. And I've done that, like, with Mass Effect. And I've actually, I haven't done the third game on hard mode yet, but I'm working on it. The Black Ricotta shall be destroy you. I think that's what he said. It went too quickly to that. Sorry for betraying you again, the one. Too bad this is going to be really easy. Anyway, alright, so... Let's see, we've got the one. He's probably the most difficult opponent. Uh, let's see, can we... Can we blast him like that? Oops. Okay, force wave to get him out of the way, if we can. Shield, speed. Uh, HK. I don't know, can... Actually, can your ability, like, uh... Stun them. Oops. Ready. Oh. Nope. Pause. Pause. What the heck, game? I was not done messing with my characters. Anyway. Okay. So, force stun him. Oh. Force stun. Force stun. No. Okay. I don't know why it just went automatically went to the combat. Okay. Force stun. Uh, he's already in Carbonite, so he's good. For stun, for stun, and then lightning. Okay. Now me, probably should. Eh, probably should go ahead and do another force wave again to get rid of these little ricottons off of our back, and then boost. Actually, I'll just boost a speed. I don't really need defense. Maybe at the end of the game, but not now. Okay. And then, then the HK will just have you blast him or something. Okay. 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 Wait, what? Oh, okay. HK just got stunned. I was like, D I thought he got killed for a second. I was like, what happened? Okay, there we go. Okay, fine. We can do it with only two people. That's fine. Okay. Might be careful. The one is actually kind of tough. Um, 
Man, I wonder how he got stunned. Oh well. Uh, I think no, we don't want to do a. I think we want to do a heal actually, and then. Or do we want to keep? I might have to keep force stunning me or force storming me because I don't. Or well, let's heal first. And let's see Okay, oh good, HK is back to normal. So I'm gonna have him go back to uh, blasting. Uh, okay, we'll have you keep force storming. Now, I know I'm fighting the one, I'd rather take out the Rancors, they're big. Ready? That way I can get them out in a second. Okay. There we go. And is it the one the last opponent? Okay. Wonder if I can stun him. Actually, let's use flamethrower. Why not? I hardly ever use HK's uh, items. I should, but it's because it's a it's a it's a usable item where it gets depleted over use, and it's hard for me to take advantage of those. I'm always afraid. I'm like, oh, why? Because I, mean, I always want to save them for the right occasion. Yet I, the right occasion never comes. It's always how it is. Anyway, let's uh. Let's wreck the one up because he's got no more options. Yes, okay. We're good. He's pretty much done. Oh, well then. There you go. And we hit 19th level for HK and uh, Julie. Oh, and we got the ones uh, ones remains. Actually, let's do a quick a level up for. They're at 19 and 19 respectively. I don't think there's really much else we can add for HK really by this point of the game. Yeah, really nothing else. Oh well. Billy, do you get any more last minute force abilities or anything? Oh yeah, you do. Nice. Do we have anything more to give him? I mean, yeah, we could give him Valor and all that stuff. Might do that just because... Well, let's see. Can you dominate mine? Or I got Force of Lightning. I don't really care about advanced uh, lightsaber. Actually, Drain Life wouldn't be too bad, but I already got heal, so... Um, let's see, what does that do again? Uh, yeah, let's just do Night Valor. That's fine. Yeah, it's kind of sad I don't really have many more options for Julie by this point of the game. I got some vi his Vibro Swords, which aren't anything special. Some grenades and advanced my pack. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. The one can do some damage to you, but... Really, if you know how to crowd control, or if you've been building up your stuff, you should be fine. Oh, we got some more shit parts. Thank you, the one. Were you the one? No. Were you the chosen one? Maybe. Possibly. But I did have the high ground. So, there's that. Uh, or you're no Harry Potter, which, frankly, should have... Spoilers, should have died at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the books. I think that would have been a better story, but whatever. There, I thought the I thought the uh, scouts were like in here somewhere. Oh, there he is! Ha ha! Hello. You you have saved me from the savages and the war beasts. Oh well, I do what I do. Uh, I could just tell him, but let's ask who we are. Who are you? I am one of the elders, the other remaining tribe of Kata on this island. The tribe you fought has attempted to destroy us and seize our secrets to gain access to the temple of the ancients. That's why they failed. Well, they are dead now. And the fact that it takes only one main NPC or main character from a game to take out a whole group of people that have been causing one group of people trouble for years and years. Ah, <sighs> anyway, Temple of the Ancients. The temple in East of here, the largest structure on the island. You should speak with the council of our tribe. They may be able to help you for what you've done for me. Thank you for saving me. I shall attempt to return to the enclave on my own. I will tell the council what you've done. I want to ask you more questions. Get back here. Yeah, we could have just told him we were looking to help him, but anyway, good experience and a quest uh, knock, so let's read it. You've rescued a Rakatan being held prisoner by the One. Now that he's been saved, as likely as tribe the Elders will help you find a way off this world. You should go speak to them in our enclave near the ancient Temple of the Ancients. But yeah, basically we're done with the One, so now we need to go back to the Eldars. Unfortunately, at this point, I have not actually made a save point for this because I didn't know how long it'd actually take to go through the one so i'm just going to do a cut right here so when we come back i will be at the eldars and we'll get uh the information we need to get into the temple so i'll see you on uh, in a moment 
Revan, you are back. Our scouts have told us how you rescued him. His injuries are severe, but we believe we will survive. We are grateful for what you've done. Well, I did slaughter a whole bunch of your people, so I hope you're happy. But anyway, welcome back. We're back here. Well, it took like like five minutes or something to get back here. Probably would have been faster if the AI had actually followed me, but anyway. So, now will you help me? Risking your life to save our scouts seems to prove that you've changed significantly since last time you were here, Revan, but you have deceived us before. No oh, good. We must discuss this in greater detail. We must have some pri privacy, Revan. We will return when our deliberations are done. But I killed a whole bunch of people and saved your scout. What more do you need from me? What, do you want us to pinky swear on it? Actually, I don't even think you guys have pinkies. So that's already a disadvantage. Oh, that didn't take her very long. They're probably just saying, look at that dork over there with that mask. That's so stupid. Revan, you have rescued a member of our tribe from the One, at great personal risk to yourself. We believe this action shows you have truly changed since your last visit here. The Council has decided we will trust you once more. For many generations, we have sought a way to enter the Temple and discover the means to destroy the Star Forge. But only those who can command the Force, those like you, can enter the Temple of the Ancients. We no longer have that power. That is why we helped you the last time you were here. But you cannot enter the temple without our help, Revan. Only the ancient rituals of our people can lower the shield for you to enter. You will need us as much as we need you, Revan. Oh, good. Relying on others. How? Oh, wait. We're right side. Yes. Looks like we'll be working together then. For our own sake, that and the entire galaxy, we hope you truly mean to atone for your past evils. When you're ready, Revan, we'll take you to the temple. But the temple is a place of sacred power. If you are to enter, you must do so alone, in the tradition of followed by our Rakat ancestors for the past thousand generations. Wait, why do I have to go in alone? That seems really dumb. And Malak got to go in when I was Revan last time. When you were here last, we broke the ancient tradition, and we allowed you and your apprentice to enter the temple together, and it brought untold suffering upon the galaxy. We believed you truly wished to destroy the Star Forge this time, but the lesson of the past is not easily forgotten. We will not defile the sacred ritual a second time. Only you may enter alone. <sighs> Fine. All right. Another time where we're by ourselves. <laughs> Forget it. Uh, no, we don't have any other choice. Uh, when I'm ready, I'll go to the temple. Then it is done. You have only to let us know when you're ready to enter the temple. Uh, let's save it really quick. I'll be back when I'm ready. As you wish, come to speak to us when you're ready to enter the temple. But remember, when the time comes, you must enter the temple alone, in accordance with the traditions of the ancient cotton. Alright, so now that we've done that, let's uh, save that trap. The elders have agreed to get you, help you get into the Temple of the Ancients. Once inside, you should be able to find a way to disable the Destructor Field and get off this planet. You only have to speak to them when you're ready to go in, in accordance, whoops, in accordance with the ancient traditions. They've insisted you go alone. Very well. Let us save it so that we have a good stop, or a uh, good uh, point to. Uh, uh, yeah, I better save a new sledge just in case the the uh, the recording messes up somewhere down the line. So, all right, basically uh, we're going to be in a dungeon for a little while. So basically, make sure you've got everything your character's equipped with. You know, items or energy shields. I mean, you can obviously change that, up, but you know what I mean. We're not going to have anyone else with us for the most part. So. Or ship parts, we'll have to give that to uh, whatever afterwards. But anyway, okay, we're good. All right, sorry, HK and Jolie, you'll have to, your comedic uh, meanderings will have to wait for later. I want to enter the temple now! The time has come for you to atone for your past crimes, Revan, but the task ahead will be difficult. Those who call Dark Jedi followers of your old apprentice now dwell within the temple. And you're sending me in there by myself. I see, because that makes sense. There's dark jet inside the temple? How'd they get in there? The last time you and Malak entered the temple, you must have found the controls to raise and lower the shields. Those those inside can lower the barrier to allow other force users to enter and exit the temple. But they will not be able to prevent us from using the ritual to gain new access. Once inside, however, we can do nothing to help you. Go to the ritual temple now. You will meet. We will meet you there once the ritual has been prepared. Remember, in accordance with the ancient Rakat tradition, you must enter the temple alone. Okay. Well, I thought they were... For some reason, I thought they were going to take us there. Okay, well... Anyway, we have to remove p players from our party, which I don't think we can do now. We could talk to some of the Pete Rakatans inside. I think they mentioned something about helping them, and Osra sa says something as well, but I don't think it's necessary, so... Or at least it's not interesting enough for me to really make note of it. I'm not a, I'm not a, a Old Republic scholar, or, or... I mean, I'm a fan of these games, but I don't need to know every little detail. 
But anyway, we gotta leave. Uh, I think as long as we we uh, get rid of them right before we enter the temple. Luckily, the temple's in the next uh, area, so I'll just leave that on screen. Talk about that. But. Although, as powerful as I am, I should be fine. I mean, with force wave and defense and speed and a crap load of healing items. Like, seriously, I've, I think at some point I, I stopped counting how many healing items I have. I think I have like 120 regular healing items. Yeah, it's true I don't have a lot of the advanced ones or the life life saving kits or whatever they're called but uh, I think we're I think we're good on a on a on healing for the rest of the game as long as you've raised as long as you either have a, de a decent amount of force points for heal or drain life or if you've done what what you should have done is put a lot of points in the treat injury and that's if you don't have if you're a scout like me or the or the soldier Okay, so they're over there, so we'll have to remove. If I remember correctly, I need to remove them from my party, I think. So let's go and do that. Kind of like when you talked to the Gen Haradan way back when. Oh man, remember that? Anyway, let's remove Jolie and HK. And we are by ourselves. Hooray? Ooh, we're gonna uh, see some priest I will begin the ritual. It will take many hours, but when it is complete, you must be ready. The shield will not stay down for long. Prepare. Hours? What's wrong with you? Chanting. Wait, someone is coming. Hey, Jolie! Wait, and Johanny. can't go in there alone. All right, my two Jedi. Oh, Ju yeah, Juhani doesn't get any lines. Great. What are you doing here? We have had a, a premonition. The Force has given us a vision. There is great danger within the temple. We cannot let you face it alone. You might be walking into a trap. Maybe Malak himself is waiting inside. Even if he isn't, that temple will be crawling with dark Jedi. You'll need all the help you can get. No one can go with you into the temple. You must enter alone. That is the way of ancient ritual. Uh, well, it's like, but there's already dark Jedi in there. What is two more people going to... I'm not going in alone, after all. Lower the shields. No, you must enter the temple alone. I will not lower the shields. I don't know what he said, but it sounds like your guide's being stubborn. We don't have time for this. The Republic fleet is on the way, and we're stuck on this planet until we deactivate that disruptor field. You have to convince him to get us inside that temple. <laughs> to lower the shield, or I'm going to cut you into pieces. Uh, I cannot destroy the Starforge alone. They must come with me into the temple. I, I, I believe you. The elders have said you wish to destroy the Starforge and end the terrible legacy of our ancestors. If you need to help to do this, I will not stand your way. I will resume the ritual now. Oh, good! Why do I get the feeling this is going to take a while? Still, we better stay ready. As soon as those shields go down, we have to get inside the temple. More chanting. Oh, by the way, jo Jihadi only gets the one line and that's it. Great, thanks, game. So you just th so you just shoot kryptonite or uh, sorry disruptor not disruptor carbonite beams into the center and that unleashes the temple, or they had to reuse assets to make it seem interesting despite it being a reused asset from an attack that like I think it's the carbonite beam that HK can shoot or the freeze beam or whatever other items that use similar effects, which is fine. It's the first in the game of the series, so. You you can't hate them for reusing effects for stuff though like that, but nowadays that that wouldn't that wouldn't fly unless you're like a cheap ass game. Lord Malak, the preparations are nearly complete. Every day the Star Forge adds more ships to our fleet. It is operating at nearly three hundred percent of our projections. The fleet is assembling around the Star Forge and awaits your, your instruction. Patience, Commander. My new apprentice is nearly ready. Once Bastula joins her battle meditation to our enormous fleet, we shall be invincible. Then we shall begin our final conquest of the Core Worlds. 
and the Republic will be crushed forever. As you wish, Lord Malik. Now that scene was really creepy, actually seeing his lower jaw being cut off. I don't know if it ever explains in the game, but it's assumed, uh, from what people have told me, it's assumed that Revan cut Malik's jaw off when they were tr deciding who would be the Master and Apprentice in their Rule of Two. and uh, So, I mean, from what I understand, it, it was Revan who chopped off Malik's jaw during that time. I think it's in the novelization, if I remember correctly. They mentioned that. But all right, after that scene of the bad guys talking about how they're going to rule the galaxy. We've got Joey and Juhani. If you kill Juhani, whether from Dark Side mentions or, or feeling you can't thank, uh, help, help her, then you've just got Joey. But because we say Juhani, she's with us. So, will Joey and Juhani be able to help me get through the temple, defeat the Dark Jedi, and get to Malak, save Basil in the galaxy? Find out next time in the next episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.